episode three of the lunch platter series this is ricotta salada this is a hard grating cheese it ages for three months minimum this one will probably age for quite a bit longer than that and it does not get uh, vacuum sealed so um, it gets aged in a uh, vented uh, like a Tupperware bowl. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Thanks. The ingredients for the ricotta salada are two gallons of whole milk, a quart of buttermilk, and uh, three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. We're going to heat the milk slowly and I'm going to tell you now, stir this constantly. I did not, and at the end you will see why that's important. But we're going to heat this milk up to uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit before adding the lemon juice in. Once you add the lemon juice in, it's going to curdle almost immediately. And once it does, we're going to... Uh, Remove the curd into a cheesecloth lined colander and um, let it drain for about five minutes. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, gather up the cheesecloth around this, uh, give it a little squeeze, squeeze out um, a bunch of the whey, and then I'm going to add about two teaspoons of uh, fine sea salt. You want to make sure you use non-iodized salt. Um, it will give a funny metallic taste to your cheese. And then we're going to gather the cheesecloth back up and move this to uh, our cheese mold. Okay, and once we get it into the cheese mold, we will put the follower on and um, put it into the cheese press, pressing it with um, 25 pounds of pressure for uh, at least 12 hours. I ended up letting this go for a little longer uh, till the next morning uh, ended up is about 18 hours almost uh, which is fine okay next morning uh, we take it out of the press and uh let it air dry. You're going to see when I pull this out, you're going to see some little flecks in it, some reds and browns. That is what I was talking about, about stirring the milk constantly. The milk, it didn't quite scorch. There's no uh, burnt flavor to it, um, but there's definitely some uh, little spots where it's like browns and reds. Um, it might just add some... Uh, visual appeal to, the, to it but it almost looks like a pepper jack cheese with these little flakes in there and that's from that milk um browning a little bit um because i didn't stir it constantly so if i did this again i would definitely do that so then i'm completely covering the surface in salt and then i'm going to put it into this little vented um container with um, some little racks in the bottom of it. It's basically mats from that you would put in the bottom of the sink, but they've never been used or clean. Uh, I sprayed them with vinegar to make sure that there was no um, anything I didn't want on there. And then I will let this um, air dry uncovered for two days, and then I will cover it and put it into the cheese cave thanks for watching